Hello friend, welcome to Marine Engineering Hub. This is your narrator, Chief Engineer Ravi Gupta. Today we will talk about Bunker Delivery Note, also known as BDN. In today's video, we will see what are the content of BDN, how the BDN look like, and after that, we will see what is the rules and regulation as per MARPOL Regulation Annex 6, Regulation 18. As per regulation 18 of MOPLA Annex 6, what is the rules and regulation we will see. And after that, we will see new regulation of a fuel sampling requirement which have came and entered into force in 1st April 2022. And after that, I will tell you what are the requirement of this fuel sample as per the MARPOL. So friend, today's video is going to be interesting and after watching today's video, you have a clear knowledge of a bunker delivery note, how a bunker delivery note look like and what other thing you need to check in a bunker delivery note. Friend, those who are new to this channel, I want to tell you that Marine Engineering Hub is a platform which make video like this which will be beneficial for your examination, oral and for your interview and for your during examination. So please do subscribe our channel and please do share our video with your friends, those who don't know about the channel. Friend, if you want such video before, then you can join our channel and you can directly interact with me by joining the channel. So let's start the video of Bunker Delivery Note. So what do you mean by Bunker Delivery Note? So basically, Bunker Delivery Note, it means that when there is a bunkering operation and after the bunkering operation is finished, a BDN is being given from the supplier to the ship which have taken the bunker and it consists of all the detail which mention and look like this so first let us look what are the thing mentioned in a bunker delivery note so bunker delivery note basically consists of name and IMO number of a ship receiving bunker now suppose there is two ship ship A and ship B Ship A is giving bunker to B. So, the name and IMO number of ship B will be written here. The name of the port where this whole operation is been carried out is mentioned. The date in which the bunkering operation is been carried out will be mentioned. And the name and address and telephone number of the supplier of the bunker supplier will be mentioned. The product now you are giving VLSFO or or you are giving MGU or you are giving L and G or LPG it all will be mentioned in a bunker delivery note after that the quantity how much quantity is been given from A to B will be mentioned after that the density, sulfur content and the declaration of a supplier that he has he supplied as per the MARPOL regulation. One more thing which is not mentioned here, recent regulation is the flash point. The flash point will also be mentioned that whether the flash point is greater than 70 degree or not. So this will be also mentioned. So, in examination, when you are going to answer the question, you should must say all these 9 points. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. This all 9 points you should tell. But you should not also forget to mention the flash point. Because it is a recently addition that in the bunker delivery note, you should mention the flash point of a fuel oil. If it is MGO, you should mention it is less than 70 degrees. If it is VLSFO, it should mention it is greater than 70 degree because of the rules and negotiation changes. After that, the bunker delivery note, which look like this, it should be kept in SIP for filing and documentation for a period of at least 3 years. Means, suppose you have taken bunker on 0101-2022. Okay, so you should keep it for at least period of 
थ्री ईयर दैट इज थर्टी फर्स्ट ट्वेल्व ट्वेंटी सिक्स सो इफ यू हैव टेकन बंकर फॉर अ पीरियड ऑफ ट्वेंटी फोर ट्वेंटी फोर ईयर होल्ड ट्वेंटी फाइव ईयर होल्ड एंड ट्वेंटी सिक्स थर्टी फर्स्ट दिसंबर यू शुड कीप फॉर अ पीरियड ऑफ थ्री ईयर यू हैव टू कीप द बंकर डिलीवरी नोट फॉर इन योर सिप सो दीज आर ऑल द इन्फॉर्मेशन विच आर मैंशन इन अ बंकर डिलीवरी नोट नाउ लेट सी द बंकर डिलीवरी नोट सो द बंकर डिलीवरी नोट विल फर्स्ट कंटेन द सप्लायर नेम इट इज इन गिवेन बाई अ बी पी मरीन ओके एड्रेस इज इन मैंसन हेयर आफ्टर दैट द रिसीविंग वेशन नेम इज मैंसन हेयर द आई वन नंबर ऑफ वेशन नेम इज मैंसन हेयर एंड द पार्सल नंबर इज मैंसन हेयर आफ्टर दैट द कस्टमर नेम एंड द स्टॉक लोकेशन and the delivery date and delivery port is in mention here after that which method is been used road or this will be mentioned here this is not required the basic requirement is this thing okay and after that all the timing will be mentioned here means when it get alongside when it had commencing after that when completed and then when the barge left after that the most important thing is that they told you the product name so here product name is rmk 500 After that, it will mention the quantity. How much quantity they want to give? So quantity they want to give how much? This will be mentioned here. After that, the density will be mentioned, the sulfur content will be mentioned, and the flash point will be mentioned. And then all the sample which is been collected, marble sample, ship sample, vessel sample, two sample, all will be mentioned with the sample number. Followed by that, it will consist of barge name, its registration number, and the flag vessel name and the stamp of the master or chief engineer. So this is how a bunker delivery note consists of. So all these points will be need to tell before the examination. Now, uh, one more example is like this. So bunker delivery note can be look like different, but you have to make sure that you should mention all the ten basic point. You should mention the name of a supplier, I am a number of a ship, whom you are giving, whom you, from whom you are taking, what are the product names, what are the density, what is the sulfur content, what is the quantity, what is the flash point, and after that when you are getting alongside and all that, and then. All the sample number, and then you can sign it. And the most important, the flash point. These things need to be mentioned. Now, as I told you, the bunker delivery note is provided for a period of three year. Need to be kept on board after you have taken the bunker, and it should consist of all these things. Now, you are also taking a sample. As you see here, you are taking four sample. So, for how long you need to keep sample? These are asked in the examination. So, if you have taken a sample, you have to keep the sample for a minimum period of twelve month. Means this sample which you have taken and sent it to sample analysis, and after receiving the report, you have to keep it for a period of three year, and you have to keep the sample, ship sample or marble sample for a period of twelve month. दो दो यू हैव कंज्यूम द फ्यूल सम वे दे से दैट आफ्टर यू कंज्यूम द फ्यूल यू थ्रो इट बट आई एडवाइज यू डोंट थ्रो इट यू कीप इट फॉर ट्वेल्व मंथ बिकॉज समाइम द इंस्पेक्टर कम दे डोंट थिंक ऑफ द रीजन दे विल से वाई हैव नॉट कैप इट एंड दे कैन पुट द रिमार्क सो टू अवॉइड अननेसेसरी पी एस थ्री रिमार्क बटिंग रिमार्क इवन यू कंज्यूम द फ्यूल कीप इट फॉर अ ऑन बोर्ड फॉर ट्वेल्व मंथ एंड देन यू थ्रो इट इफ इट इज लेस एन ट्वेल्व मंथ then keep it here now let's see this is the how you collect the bunker sample here this dip tray is fitted okay and the oil will flow from here and after that the they has a hole in the pipe segment and from here the oil will go down and you have to put this back here like this here you have to put the back Here like this, and oil will get collected here, and then it is collect in in a, this like this drum, four or five, and send it for a sample. This is one method, and second method is that if your bunker is provided with the 
flange system and here is the valve is provided then you can actually put the sample collecting back now there as i told you that you should keep it for a period of only minimum one year now as per marpole regulation 18 talks about fuel oil ability and quality so first you talk about ability so it say that you have to make sure that you are taking bunker which are as per the marpole rules and regulation so what is the regulation right now the regulation is of 0.5 outside the eka area and 0.1 sulfur content inside the eka area so to make sure that you are receiving this type of fuel if you are receiving auspex fuel or if you are not getting the fuel which you wanted then you have to inform the your flag state and flag state will inform the your IMO and you have to make sure that you make attempt to procure the fuel from the other means also it means that suppose you are going from point A to point B ok from point A to point B ok you are going now you have to make sure if suppose you are going to a France port from Dubai from Dubai you are going to a France port suppose Marcel ok now you have to make sure that during the voyage without deviating from voyage if you can procure fuel from other means from other parties then you should do it if you have not able to do you have to prove that also so basically the first thing is that if you are doing a voyage you have to make sure that you are complying using the complied fuel as per the requirement if you are not able to procure it you have to prove it to the IMO that you are not able to procure it and this IMO will inform to the flag state and they will make sure that this thing not happen with the other ship now fuel oil quality the first the second thing they talk about is a quality what type of quality fuel you should give means suppose a supplier is a is a supplier which is giving a fuel to b now if a is giving a fuel to the b as a supplier what type of fuel you should give this standard has been set by the IM. they say that fuel which you are giving should be free from the any inorganic acid it should not contain any substance which can jeopardize the machineries of the ship the sulfur content should be as per the regulation that is 0.5 and 0.1 depending upon what you are taking the fuel which you are giving it should have a such thing that it make the NOx emission within the limit after that you should not add any chemicals so that it can jeopardize the safety of the ship so basically in fuel oil quality in marpole they have mentioned what thing you should give so that it should be within the limit so even examination you should cover at least this point that if you are blending and if there's two things one is that if the hydrocarbon is derived from petrol refining and second one more regulation is that if a hydrocarbon is not derived from the petrol refining that is a biofuel it's talking about two things this both thing is covering the same point okay if the hydrocarbon is derived from the petrol refining it should consist of this thing and same thing is mentioned in the hydrocarbon derived from a non petrol refining all thing basically mention that you in examination you should mention it should be free from inorganic acid it should not jeopardize the safety of a ship machinery it should not concern of any chemical substance or any substance which can hamper the machine it should have a sulfur content such that which follow the rules and regulation it should be provided from a supplier who comply with the rules and regulation and it should not not applicable to the coal and nuclear fuel you should tell in the examination now friend let's see what is the new regulation which came out of the fuel oil sampling now one sampling which you are seeing here is the bunker sample okay this sample requirement came about the in use or on board sample basically it talks about that after 1st April 2022 we have to make sure that 
we have a sample which is provided in a line now suppose this is a machinery main engine suppose this is the main engine and this is the fuel line which is going to the main engine so you have you should have a one sampling point here such that if a PSC inspector come or a waiting inspector come and if you are suppose in a ECA zone they can take the sample and take the analysis that whether you have following the rules and regulation of the ECA zone or not. Second thing is that if you are not in the ECA zone they can also come and take the sample to ensure that you are complying with the proper fuel or not. So this for all this reason they have came up with the fuel oil sample regulation. It says that you should have a fuel oil sample analysis point near to the consumption of a main engine or the auxiliary engine depending upon the requirement means the sample should be near to the consumption of the main engine such that they can collect the fuel which is in use this point you need to install and make it certified in your pipe and diagram before the first IIPP survey renewal after 1st April 2023 for our existing ship. For a new ship, they have to make sure that whose skill is that after 1st April 2022, you should provide it. But for an existing ship, after 1st April 2023, whenever they are carrying out their first renewal survey, they should install it and make it approved in the pipeline diagram and same should reflect in a IAPP survey or IAPP certificate. So basically what is mentioned in IAPP certificate is that there is a point mentioned that whether your ship is been provided with a fuel sampling point now there it will be for a tick if the tick mark is there now the inspector will go down and to cross verify that whether where is this point is so about this point i will talk about in detail in my upcoming video for that i will show you the one sample like this is the sample which i will talk about how we are gonna provide a sampling point because it's a very detailed video so I will be making in my upcoming video please do watch to have complete knowledge about the fuel oil sampling point what a, what a type of sampling point all this I will explain so friend in today's video we will learn what is the fuel oil ability and fuel oil quality requirement of a marpol what is the sample requirement of a marpol and what do you mean by bunker delivery node if you have learned something from this video then please do subscribe please do share and if you want this type of video then please join our channel a bare minimum fees is there just join it i guarantee you will learn a lot and you will keep getting video which are a to be released one month to one before